Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Rafael Benevides and today I'm gonna show you how you can configure your microservice using external configuration. To demo external configurations in microservice, I will use Red Hat Hello World MSA. That's basically a microservice playground running inside OpenShift. If you want to try the Hello World MSA, just access bit.ly slash MSA instructions and you will find all the instructions to install that and run those microservices on your laptop. This microservice here uses Delta Spy configuration to read the configuration from different sources. One of these sources could be an environment variable. OpenShift allows us to define an environment variable in an easy way. We basically need to say OC env, the name of the deployment config, and the environment variable. In this case, this application reads an environment variable called hello, and then define a new value in the environment variable. Coming from Envivar. This will cause, this update in the deployment config will cause a new deployment of the microservice and this new container here has the environment variable that we defined. Now that the microservice is running, we can get the new value that's coming from the Envivar. If we want to remove that environment variable, we basically need to use the environment variable that we define with the sign dash. That will also again cause a new deployment to replace the value. Now we have again the microservice using the default value. Another great feature of OpenShift is the config map. Config map allows us to create configuration objects that can be consumed in different ways like environment variables and volumes. What we will do now is to create a config map from a, an existing file, an existing configuration file. Let's take a look. We have here a file called translation.properties. I will create a config map using OC create config map I will give it a name calling it as translation and saying that this config map will come from the file translation.properties. Now we have that object defined. Let's get it to confirm. Get config map translation using the output YAML. We can see that the content of the file is placed inside the data section of this config map. So to consume that configuration, I will update the template and say that I will mount that config map called translation in the path slash ATC slash config. Now I need also to define, to say to the application, that it needs to read the configuration coming from the slash etc slash config slash translation.properties. I will use the environment variable called Java options to do that. Basically because my container is prepared to read those environment variables, the Java options, the hello that I showed before. So, of course, uh, when I updated the deployment config and updated the environment, it created a new deployment. Now we can see that the microservice is consuming that config map through the usage of volumes. Let's take a look inside the container. I'll see, get pods with the label app equals hola. OC remote shell hola 
then we can check the contents of translation.properties. Now what I will do is update the config map edit config map translation and we will change the content from Spanish to Portuguese. Now note that I just updated the config map but this time there is no deployment running. I still have the same contain container running here. Now let's see the content of translation.properties. As we can see, we still have the same, the same pod, the same container. No deployment was executed, but the mount volume inside the, um, the pod was updated to have the new configuration. And now we can verify that the service is reading the new configuration from that file. So this demo basically shows two different ways of having external configuration for your microservice and also shows how OpenShift can be the perfect platform for your microservice. I hope that you enjoy it and if so, click on the like button and share with your friends. Thank you.